hey youtube fam it's your girl gladys and welcome to is that your hair if you're new here tap that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my videos coming up and if you've been rocking with me for a minute what's up what's good and welcome back today is 20 dollar tuesday 20 dollar tuesday is a special time on my channel where i showcase super cute yet super affordable wigs for the lovely 20 dollar price range and below so let's just jump right in today we have a unit by Altre, and her name is miss Gail. I have Gail in the ginger brown color. First of all, I love the color on me. Oh my god, this is so gorgeous. The last time I tried this color, like from root to tip, was Martina in the ginger brown. And it's just everything. It's just one of those colors that looks good on any skin tone, but especially deeper skin tones. But I'm going to save my thoughts on this individual unit to the end of the video. Right now, I really want to focus on what I do to make a wig like this look natural. This is a lace part wig, so there was no lace to cut out the pack. And normally with a wig like this, there is a line of demarcation at the parting space area. But as you can see here, your girl has pretty much taken care of that. So if you wanna see how I made this look natural, little talk through tutorial, keep on watching and I'll be back at the end with my final thoughts. So here I am with Altre Gayelle from the Daily Wig Collection. These are the different colors that they offer. This wig does come with a comb in the front, a comb all the way on the side, and a comb in the back with adjustable straps. And it has this elastic band, which is very snug. Now with the Daily Wig Collection, people do like these wigs because they are made for everyday wear and they are made with beginners in mind. I have the ginger brown color, which is very lovely. Y'all see that close up? It's a mix of reds and auburns and a little bit of a number two. And I just think it looks so good. Now this wig does have some filler hairs in the back. I noticed that and I think it's because they're trying to provide some lift. I don't like filler hairs at all. But in this case, it wasn't bothering me too much. Now I know y'all can see that line of demarcation right there. And that's what we're going to fix today. We're going to make that blend into my scalp. You'll see here also the way the wig is constructed. They have hairs that are like coming from underneath the cap and flipped over. And that's basically because there are some tracks that would be showing, so they're trying to cover up the tracks. Also be mindful that these $20 wigs from the Daily Collection are not serving hairline, so this is what you get. So if you are ready to see how I go from this to this, keep on watching. So let's focus on this parting space area. What you'll notice is that this parting space, right where the line of demarcation is, there is one because it's like a double layer of lace there and it's folded over. Y'all see that? It's literally folded over. So we need to cut that out. We need to get underneath that lace. So right now I'm taking my small scissors and I'm putting an incision right here at the tip of the lace here and I'm going to cut into a V shape. Take your time when you do this, be careful because you don't want to essentially rip the lace, but just make a V. And this is what I do in order to make my lace part wigs look natural. So here you'll see that I made my V. It's a very small V. It's actually looking more like a little U, but that's fine too. And now you'll see when I flip it over, you can see that the lace has opened up. So we can get in there with the scissors. So now I'm gonna take my scissors and literally just stick it in where the lace is. And I'm cutting. I'm cutting very carefully because the goal here is to get rid of that second layer of lace so that way the top layer of lace can lay flush on the scalp. As you can see here, I'm pushing the lace away as I cut away at it. And this is a good sign. So far I'm not making holes or anything. I'm being very careful. It's good to use a small scissors like I'm using right here. I'm not really cutting away the whole second layer. I'm just really cutting the front part because that's what my main focus is right now. If this close up is helping you, definitely let me know in the comments down below. Now you'll see here that I cut away the layer that I don't need and now only the top layer is exposed and now it's time for me to put the wig back on my head and continue the process of making the parting space blend. I know you're somebody else's. 
All right, y'all, so now I'm putting the wig back on my head. I'm adjusting it, turning it to the side because this is a side part wig. And it's already laying flat, flatter to my scalp. That's what I want. So now it's time to adhere it. And I'm going to start with my Got To Be Glue in the black bottle. And I use the black bottle because it goes on more clear, more translucent, and it's less messy in my opinion. I'm flattening that down and then I'm going to go on my bedhead spray. The reason why I use this with the lace part wigs is because it just helps it stay put. I notice if I just use the Got To Be Glue by itself, the wig will still shift backwards and expose my my roots and that's that's not what we're doing here. So, especially not when I'm wearing a colored wig, wig like this that's colored from root to tip. Now I'm taking my Fit Me powder in the color 360 and I'm going to apply the pressed powder using my dollar angle brush from Amazon. It seems like a track was sticking out right there, so I was trying to cut a little bit of it out. Eventually I left it alone because it was just taking a while, but that's always an option. I actually have a video showing how I cut a track out. I think it was Outre. I'll link it down below. But yeah, the part is already starting to look better. But here's the thing. It's still not laid the way I need it to, and so here's what I need to do next. I'm adding more got to be glue and honestly this is what really makes the difference the got to be glue that I'm using is is basically creating creating like a layer of scalp in a way especially as it dries so that way not only is the wig adhered but now you're creating a part where the line of demarcation previously was I hope that makes sense definitely leave me comments down below if you have questions about this part of the process Also, I did use a blow dryer as I was adding the got to be glue because you want this to dry as fast as possible because you're going to go in with pressed powder soon afterwards. And I'm literally just dabbing as I add the pressed powder. I use a combination of two powders for this part. I'll use my Maybelline 360 and then I'll use a darker powder because I am right where my forehead is and my forehead is not that light. <laughs> so I'm just trying to make sure it still blends in with my skin. The darker powder I'm using is by Black Radiance, by the way, and I'm using the color Black Coffee. I'm just sweeping over it very lightly. A little goes a long way, y'all. Be careful with this part. Don't use too much because it will get crusty. Mine did, and I had to wipe away some excess. That's what I do, and then I show the stock card. That's not the stock card, see. Okay, well, guess what? This is what I'm trying to show you my as my coloring board. Okay. So now we put a little more on. Tap, tap, tap. And just to let you guys know, this video is sponsored by Maybelline. Sponsored? It's not, because, well, it's not sponsored by well, Maybelline. Whatever. They should be. You see this little it's color pen? I'm using Juvia's Place. Oh, Juvia's Place. Sorry. Uh. Sponsored by Juvia's Place. All right. So we're almost done here. These What's little, happening here? These little filler hairs are getting in the way, so we just gotta clean it up a little bit. Those are my hairs. It's like a fake um, baby hair thing I got going, but it blends in well, so no one will know. I'm applying no the eyeshadow, know. see? Okay, all right. So is this my show or yours? Okay. So you see this little hair is getting in the way. I had to move it to the side oh and then clean it up a little bit, okay? You see this little edge over here, so you gotta rub that down because that side always pops up, all right? I would usually put spit in my hair, but since we're on camera, Ew. I can do it. All right, here we go. <laughs> she and, does that. And boom. You see that? That little weft I got there going? <laughs> this girl boom. knows one word. <laughs> <laughs> you like the end result, babe? Yes. And boom. There we go. And I bend down, and now it's up. Done. You like it? I love it. <laughs> very helpful to you comment down below and let me know 
if it was or which part was the most helpful. It's great feedback for me to hear. I have done other tutorials similar to this in the past, but I just wanted to give an update for 2021. And I'm certain I'll do a few more videos like this as the year goes on. Cause I just, I just like to update it as I go or just, you know, put a little spin on it in different videos. It seems to help the collective on my channel. So yeah, look out for those type of videos. Also, as far as my thoughts on this wig. So starting with the pros, I absolutely love the color. It's so stunning to me. I like the texture. It, it's definitely a little bit more yakky than I expected. I thought it was gonna be purely silky, but there's some yak in here. Okay, I feel the weight in the hair. Beautiful. The style is pretty on one side. <laughs> Oh man, like over here, I'm feeling the curls. Y'all know I'm particular about the curls. But on this side, curls are going this direction and my preference is the opposite. Like you see how this is going that way? That's what I like. It's not the same as on this side. And it's just a little weird and awkward. So I don't like that. I also wish the curls were consistent throughout the entire unit because as you can see back here, it's just kind of like, okay, we're just straight. <laughs> That's it. I would have loved to have this type of curl all throughout, but I'm not complaining y'all. For $19.94, which is a great pro as well, I will not complain. I think this is a great spring ready unit. I think a lot of y'all will love this in the 1B and number two color. If you haven't seen my other videos like this, check out my wig 101 playlist. It'll be linked in my description box. And all the items that you see that I've used here and in general, everything is linked in my description box. It's very organized. Actually, the items within each section will be in alphabetical order too. And you'll notice that the clear triangles are for affiliate links, black triangles are for video links or another type of link. So I hope that helps you in case you're also shopping around through my links. And when you shop through my links, you are directly supporting Is That Your Hair? And I use that to pour into my channel. So yes, I appreciate all of you who do that. And if you are new here, you can go ahead and tap that subscribe button because you made it this far. Hit that notification bell. Especially if you want to be a part of the premiere party, you see us in here. We're pretty lit, especially on Tuesday. So make sure your notifications are on. And if you want to see my latest videos, check them out over here to the right of me. Y'all, thank y'all so much for coming through on $20 Tuesday. $20 Tuesday is on and popping. Yes. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.